Hey guys, welcome to Honest Hotel. Adam here. Today is another adventure on the island of Tioman. We are going to take the eco diver course with Rift Check conducted by Elvin. So let's follow us on our adventure. Normally, the course when we do with normal, not dive pros, lah, kan? it's like um, six dives. One dive is the buoyancy practice, and then it is uh, the fish and inverts ID. And then another two dives is for substrate ID. And then the last dive is to practice the methods. Okay, so we're going to start uh, with the introduction. So basically now we're going to go through about coral reefs a little bit, why they are important. We want a healthy reef to have good coral cover, but also high abundance in fish life, right? In marine life. If you go somewhere and you see there's lots of coral, but no fish. Or you go somewhere and there's lots of fish, but no corals. That is a sign of the ecosystem already starting to collapse. Okay, they're very important because they are a home to many different kinds of marine life. Okay, they are actually one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. Nursery ground means they grow up there. So even your pelagic, though, you can you can pelagic like uh, tengiri, tuna, right? When they um, hatch. Okay. When their eggs hatch and their fish are very small, they cannot live in the open water. Because in the open water, there is no shelter and there's very little food. So they come to the reef because there's easy to find food, lots of space to hide. They grow big. Once they're big, they swim back out. Food source. For majority of the communities that live close to the sea, their number one source of protein is from the reef. So people eat uh, parrot fish. Once they start eating all your parrot fish, your rabbit fish, your surgeons or your damsels, these are your herbivores, right? Once they start focusing on these, then there's nothing to eat the algae. And then your algae is going to grow a lot. And this will compete with corals for space on the reef. And what they call is a phase shift. From a coral reef, it become algae reef. Corals want to grow, now got algae growing already. So they have to fight, 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 fight for space. Number two, when they were low, right, there is no place for the baby larvae of the coral to do dope. Because the coral larvae needs clean, hard structure. If already got algae and all growing, it cannot attach here. So this is what we call a phase shift. We check Malaysia, there's about 200 sites around the country. Okay. Now this data is fed back to government agencies, to universities and um, it is also used for us to decide on what islands we are going to focus, uh, what type of work on. I mean, Chiwan has amazing hard parts mm -hmm. compared to any, mm -hmm. any uh, yeah. green farm. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. But who chose, who chose the sites on the oh, way yes. set so, so, and so on? So on. So for each site that we do, mm -hmm. uh, when we are picking a new site, we will always pick uh, north, south, east, west. So I, I, I heard people say that before. So you see the tail snapper and sweet leaves both are the same. Yeah. Um, but what you can see, you can see body and tail. If you see this one's body, it's quite streamlined. Mm -hmm. You see the bottom, pretty flat, elongated. This is very interesting to you, <laughs> I never knew so much about cucumbers. You need orang selalu panggil sea apple, sea apple. This is a cucumber juga. Remember earlier what we said? Who's starting first? Fish. Fish. And we won't overtake the fish, right? And then it's the inverts. The fish, when they reach the end, they are done. Their job is finished. But the inverts, when they reach the end, they are going to turn around and do impacts going back to zero. We also usually give the people who air consumption very high, we give them to do fish. La. So they just do zoop, night. 
because inverts must swim out and swim back so they must do 200 meters swimming now when you're checking your distance using your leg method you don't want to be facing inwards like this no point because your eyes is looking at the tape you cannot see where's your boundary so you must be doing it like this so you know okay my boundary is at that line jalan 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 so now we reach the end of our transect 20 right you see up here it reminds you where the segments are 0 to 20 25 to 45 so if we reach 20 already we stop but if it was a napoleon right let's say that banana tree is like a napoleon even though it is so far away we are still going to count it yeah if it was a bump it we are still going to count it okay don't forget also groupers we are doing according to size so how to size a grouper well these slates if you put it like this you will see they are about 20 cm so it's seldom that a fish would follow you along the line most often they swim across the line so you just tell your buddy like hey the one i got it yeah <clears throat> so again you are always same pace with your buddy not one person in front, one person at back. So uh, there's no in timer. Huh? Okay. okay. There's no timer. So there's no timer and we wanna do a search radius of a maximum of about two meters. So you'll be what expected. Two meters, yeah, okay. Okay? Well, the end. Keep going, huh? <laughs> now when you're doing a real survey you're only doing fish or you're only doing uh, inverts in bags or you're only doing substrate bag right? so for fish and inverts if you're doing inverts and you've got no place to kitter you use the fish place lah. okay mm. because the fish is for so much so your main thing what you're going to get a lot you're going to get a lot of chins mm. sometimes you get a lot of uh, giant clams. is a substrate training dive where Elvin points out object for us to identify lying on the seabed. Each of us has a set of laminated card that shows all the items we need to take note and record during reef check eco surveys. Often time we need to be in a position of head down feet up to observe what's beneath the reef. Buoyancy is crucial to prevent damage to the corals. Moving information is a must during the process of the survey. Alvin is now laying the transect measuring tape to mark the survey location that we will be training on. Most surveys are done on coral reef, ideally between 2 to 6 meters and 6 to 12 meters of depth. Following scuba diving principles, we work in a buddy system at all times to ensure safety of divers. Team-based effort is important 
for smooth completions of Reef Check Eco Surveys.